Hey everyone, welcome to another taste test. Today I was gonna try Good and Gunner's buttery spread, and they also have it in a cube, kind of like what you would find in like a cube of butter. I didn't get that one. Um, I just wanted to really try this one. I'm sure they taste the same. They're just in a different form. So this one is organic non-dairy, and then of course you want to read the um, ingredients because sometimes non-dairy will have a derivative of dairy, so it doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, um, so yeah, so and also Target's really good about like it a lot of times tell you they're vegan in their description. So like, let me show you on the um, or we'll say like plant based. But if you read the ingredients, it's put as plant based. But if you just read the ingredients, um, it will be vegan too. Like like I said, not always plant based is vegan, and not always on day diet, not always non dairy is vegan. So you just really want to read the ingredients. A lot of times they'll come out and just be like, this is vegan. I, you know, that would make all of our lives simpler, right? Um, so yeah, I wanted to try this. This is $3.49 at Target. And I will say I've had a few butters. Not a lot because I stick to one. And this is the one I stick to. I absolutely love it. It tastes just like dairy butter. Um, it's amazing. And see it on there, it says certified vegan. And that's why I kind of wish they would at least say vegan or certified. I think you have to pay more for the logo. That might be why they always don't want to have certified on their stuff. Um, but, you know, it helps us vegans out a lot more and gives us a peace of mind. But this is the best butter ever, so I want to see how this butter is. And I don't know how new this is. I just happened to find it on Target. And I was like, wow, because I do look probably once a month, maybe a little more than once a month, but I haven't seen this until now. It could just been the way I filtered it. Um, so yeah, I'm curious how this tastes because this is a little, I think it's like a dollar more, so it's closer to five bucks, but this literally is the best butter ever. Um, but we'll see, maybe we'll be wrong. Um, this one's 15 ounces and this one's 13, so for another dollar roughly, you are getting two more ounces, so look at it like that. But um, let's see, this maybe, so in a way, it kind of evens itself out. Um, so yeah, like there, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to smell it. Yeah, it smells like butter, but it does smell a little different. So I'm going to put it on a piece of, uh, I'm going to put it on some waffles to see how it melts and all that. And then I'm going to put it on some, uh, just on like a slice of bread just to see how it tastes and get more of the taste because I just don't want to like eat it out of here. So yeah, I just want to see how it spreads, how it works. Um, it does feel very stiff. So with like normal dairy butter or margarine, you probably usually want to leave it out for like a few minutes before you start using it. So that's what I've kind of been doing. But yeah, you can see it's kind of starting to get a little soft, but it is pretty hard. So yeah, and I will also um, spread it with the can on the camera so you can just see how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna get my waffles and we'll try that first. Put the butter on here so it comes out pretty good. So let's see how it kind of... And this is kind of how this, the other one I like does. Um, I probably didn't leave it out as long, but that's okay. But it is melting. It's melting on here pretty good. Don't want to do too, too much, but want to try to get that flavor. So I usually, of course, put syrup on my waffles, but I'm going to try a bite of it without, without the, um, syrup so I could just kind of taste the butter so here we go and the butter kind of just tastes like regular melted butter and I have a little bit of a different taste but okay so I'm gonna spread it I want to see how well it spreads it spreads on bread it could be a little hard but let's see have it out for a little bit so and this is how I love eating um, you know with butter so that's why I do want to know if it how it tastes or you know on toast um, but I also love eating it like this so I'm curious and then we already saw kind of how it melted so I'm just trying to get more of the flavor and then the melting's you know gonna make it taste a little different and normally I put jelly on it so it, it could still kind of, I don't know. I think this is the best way to test it just for the flavor of it without purely eating it. 
All right, so I'm gonna go back up in the camera. So you see it spreaded pretty good. It's still a little tough to spread, but it's not bad. I've had butter where it's like ruins the whole bread, so. All right, here we go. So yeah, there's that, and all right, here we go. Mmm. It's pretty dang good. It tastes to me like real butter. Or, you know, not real butter, dairy butter. It is real, either way. Um, this is actually really good resemblance. I love the, uh, the one I showed you, but this is probably just as good. If not better. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Especially if you can't get your hands on that one. This would be a really good one to get. But it also depends on, um, do you want to pay, you know, for a few ounces more or not? So, yeah, but I like it a lot. It's really good. Wow. Very surprised. So I definitely recommend, I definitely get it. Give it a try anyway, see if you like it. But I think what I remember what butter tastes like, tastes exactly like this. You know, dairy butter, not butter. All right, so that's all for this taste test. Thank you for watching. I hope you like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.